It's not like driving a normal car. You're having very high speeds, drivers exposed to G loads that are higher than what NASA astronauts are exposed to in hot human environments, and they do it every weekend. Inside Science. Behind the wheel of a race car, it's stressful and it's difficult. Sure, drivers need skill and stamina and their heart rates soar, but is auto racing a sport? David Ferguson has been studying the physiology of drivers for more than a decade. If you're driving and you see a police officer come behind you and they turn their lights on, your heart rate goes up really fast, right? It's not doing more work, it's just the adrenaline response. But he says the bodies of race car drivers react differently. We showed that when you put a continuous glucose monitor on a race car driver, blood glucose goes up. We've also measured oxygen consumption, so oxygen consumption goes up. So you're actually doing metabolic work, so it's like an athletic sport to drive the race car. Now, in addition to this, you're in a full fire protective suit, fire protective helmet, that shuts off your body's ability to cool itself. Drivers get hot and they sweat a lot. We see drivers losing anywhere between four to seven pounds of sweat. Um, that's pretty severe for any type of sport, when we put it that way. Drivers also contend with vibrations and high G-forces. It's challenging to keep their head steady enough to maintain a consistent view of the track and other cars. If you're going through a corner and my head goes like this, it's gonna affect my visual system. If you're going 200 miles an hour, you don't wanna experience that, right? Ferguson said drivers train for cardiovascular endurance and for strength in their necks, shoulders, and core. And if you're influencing your reaction time while going 200 miles an hour in a giant heavy race car with 30 other people around you and you're racing this close apart from each other, it is a very skillful, very demanding sport that requires really elite athletes. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and the Coalition of Underwriters.